McFarland police officers responded to this McDonald's after 6 p.m. on Sunday night. Video circulating on social media shows 21 year old Francisco Joaquin taken down by police after they say he was resisting arrest. <laughs> Slammed into a parked car and pushed to the ground. The man in the video, Francisco Joaquin, lay on the pavement after officers asked four people to go outside, including Joaquin. Him in the red hoodie, he was like, why? Like, he wanted to know why. He was like, am I being detained? And the officer was like, come out and you'll find out. Like, we'll talk about it outside. Jay Medina and her boyfriend, Isaiah Camacho, were at the restaurant watching the argument unfold. And the officer didn't want to talk to him, so he was like, so then I'm not going. And that's when he walked out. And then they started chasing after him and he started running. According to the McFarland Police Department, the officers responded to a call about a fight at the location. Because there was a fight outside. The cop had his radio and he said, hey, go get him. And he went to go get him. <laughs> When they arrived, the department says Joaquin and 22-year-old Anjanette Garcia refused to comply. Well, my girlfriend was like, hey, like, let's go take a video. But then I was like, oh, like, what if they hit us with a baton or something? The McFarland Police Department says both Joaquin and Garcia resisted arrest while out in the parking lot, resulting in this. Medina says she felt the most shock after seeing the officers pull Garcia to the ground. I felt so bad for her, but I didn't want to get in it because I don't want the cops to do anything to me or for them to think I was related to her or anything. I was like, let me just document everything. While recording the video, Medina remembers feeling scared after watching officers hit Joaquin several times and pin down Garcia. Her parts came out. She was wearing a shirt, so her, you know, area was out and she was asking to be covered. She was like, cover me, please. Like she was telling them and they didn't cover her nothing. Camacho says seeing something like this for the first time changed how he might respond in a similar situation. If a cop stops me, you know, I just need to chill. Like. The McFarland Police Department declined our request for an on-camera interview at this time. But in a press release, the department says they were assisting the Kern County Sheriff's Office and the California Highway Patrol in breaking up several attempted street takeovers in the area, involving around 200 vehicles, leading to the incident at the McDonald's. According to officers, Joaquin is a documented gang member in Fresno, and in a search of Joaquin, police found a handgun with an illegal extended magazine. Francisco Joaquin and Anjanette Garcia were both booked into the Laredo Justice Facility Center. This investigation is still ongoing. For 23ABC News, I'm Dominique Lavigne, your neighborhood reporter.